question 1.1 says how many charge is represented by these numbers of electrons before I just go in and tell you how to do things I think it's important to go through the concept real quick so we all know that um, one charge has uh, 6.242 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons right and and we can just use this number and divide it by the, this many electrons to give us charges. But so what is a charge, right? A charge is a characteristic, a, a feature of electrons, a property of electron, right, according to Einstein. This is not chemistry, so I won't go into uh, crazy details about it. Now, one electron, right, so we say E, and that uh, one electron has this many charges, 1.602, times 10 to the power of negative 19 charges, right? It's a very, very small charge, but you know, it's an electron, right? It's smaller, like 2000 times smaller than a proton. So this this is how many charge there is within one electron. So what what is that? So now we can say, okay, so one charge per electron, right? So now we wanna say, well, how many uh, charges? How, sorry, how many electrons are in a charge? So now we'd use 1c, one charge, divided by 1.602 times 10 to the power of 19 uh, c over e, a charge per electron. It gives us, well, we already said, already said it here, it's here. Uh, it's uh, 6.242 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons are in one charge, right? And as you can tell over here, using the uh, physics symbol, Right, C divided by C over E, which is equal to E times C, right? And C and C cancels, uh, that give us the number of electrons. Or usually we can represent it by N, which is in chemistry. Anyway, okay, so now it should be relatively straightforward. Uh, we just do the calculation over here. So for A, we have 6.428 times 10 to the power of 17, divided by the number we calculated over here, 6.242 tons to the power of 18. This is relative uh, rounded number, obviously, it's just like pi, right? And um, it's going to give us uh, 1.04 times 10 to the power of negative 1, or just 0 0.104 charge, right? And now for question B, for now on, it's just all arithmetic, right? You just uh, plug everything into a calculator, and then well, just not going to write it again. And you're going to get the answer. So, this is 8. Um, this should give us 0 0.1987 or uh, 1.89 times 10 to the power of negative 1 charge. So, and then for C. So, here's a little trick, right? I don't think there's uh, many people in this world can just do this number divided, uh, like, for example, 2.46 times 10 to the power of negative 9 divided by 0 0.242 times 10 to the power of 18 in their head, right? Unless you, I don't know, you did like trainings from from Korea, Japan, or China. Um, but, so, which means you're gonna have to like type everything in your calculator. It's gonna like waste time. So here's a little shortcut, is you use the uh, basic uh, arithmetic tricks. So instead of writing all that, you just write 2.46. And, uh, and then leave the scientific notation, divided by 6.242. And it will give you the number 0 0.39, right? But you know also that like 10 to the power of 19 divided by 10 to the power of 18, what is that? That's just 10 to the power of one, which is 10, right? So you times 10 in the end, which is gonna give you uh, 3.9, charge right pretty straightforward because uh, this is the uh, power rule uh, if you divide it by so like a b divided by uh, a c that's going to give you uh, a b minus c right from high school or middle school and then for d okay so for d is 1.628 so we use the same trick uh, divided by 6.8 Two four two, uh, it's gonna give us uh, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.9. 
and um, yeah, so the scientific notation, this is 20 divided by uh, 18, that is 10 to the power of 2. So times 10 to the power of 2, which is going to give you uh, 26.09 charges. All right, uh, this question should be straightforward. Uh, hopefully the concept was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.